All right, I'm back with us immediately. Let's see if we can't finish up CrossCode today. It shouldn't take all that long. I mean, we'll see. It depends on if I can do this first try or if I have to load back and do it again. Well, let's go for it. And try and, like, think about these puzzles again. See, I don't really remember, like, what happens with this. It's just like a sequential thing, I guess. Oh. Where this lets us in here? Yeah, okay, so it's not... Do you have to be really quick? I don't know if you need to do it with one single one, or if I can now just, like, do another one, right? I think I can. And just, like, get this over here. Oh. I now understand why. There we go. And then do this again. That should work, shouldn't it? And then is it just this? No. What is the last step here? There, I guess? Oh, I see. Yeah, suck it over there and then do this. But can I now, like, reach all the way? Probably not. That is a very fat hitbox on this. Yeah, okay. But wait, then, like, what do you do? If I'm just stuck here, I, I guess I can just teleport out myself, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, well, now I understand. And yeah, I guess we can do it in one go if I want to. Yeah. Oh boy. Not sure what the like fastest way to kill these is really. Definitely not this. Oh right, I have like the wrong ability here, I remember. Yeah, that just doesn't really do much. I guess we have to, like, first break them. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that that's probably a better way to d deal with them, honestly. And, yeah, for some reason, why do I have this one? Ah, I guess it's because of Bastion. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I did have that. I mean, I can't just do the tier 2 one, I guess. I don't even know if this one is, like, that much better. I guess I haven't tried it much. Might as well. And this is just, like, an item, yeah. Okay, now what? Okay, I think I see.
Yeah. Still no cheese ability here. And what are we doing? Yeah, you know, just going from here to there, okay. Oh, yeah. Messed up there. these they are weak to cold right no heat really meant to use. I'm liking this one a lot for applying like shock and break and stuff. I think I might prefer it over the like thunderbolt thing, even though that one is also nice. I thought I was just back, and I guess I am. Wait, yeah, I am back. And that's just for like an extra thing, isn't it? Or is that something else? Yeah, it's like an item here. Yeah, so that's pointless. Could I go... No, this is just extra stuff as well. So, where do we go now? Up here? Or over here, yeah. So we need both keys. Uh, I think that's too, too far. Probably too far. Too bad. Okay, so what are we doing here? This is one where you just have to, like, stack up the boxes, right? But I don't really remember, like, why or how. Yeah, I don't know if you have to do it in some certain order or something. Yeah, this will get placed here, but let's wait for that, I guess. Or I guess you can just, like, send them up. If I send it over here, I can just send it up by one and then up by one. Or is this... Is this a slope? Whoa! Interesting. I don't think I've ever tried that. This looks lower down than this, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I see now what we're doing. 
but then I only have two blocks, but we're trying to like stack them up on top of each other. But how did I do that again? Don't I have to like hit them both at the same time? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, you do. Because you do that and then you shoot through here. Yeah, okay. Didn't really, like, remember how that worked. doesn't even seem to do much damage either. Oh right, the thing on top there I kind of vaguely remember. Correct. What's this? Yeah, that. But can we just do them like one by one? Or why do I need to do like the shock thing at the same time? Oh, I see. The, the wave thing doesn't do anything on its own. It's only the shock thing. Yeah, okay. And then that turns on that. This turns on that. And that's everything? Will that even hit? Yeah, that's a bit of a tricky one. Like, easy to know what you're doing, but just like finicky to pull off. Yeah, what were we doing here again? This one we just want to like bounce, I think. Later on. Oh yeah, this is just to get through right now. And then all of this stuff. I like need to get over here to turn this one. And what did that do? Opens that. Oh, because without that, we can't... I can't shoot to the right. And that stays open for, like, a while. Yeah, okay. Alright. I kind of wish I had, yeah, not this one, the, the other one. I should maybe sw swap over to that. I'm not really using Blade Sphere that much. Maybe I should. Because, yeah, they are kind of dangerous. Like, you do take a lot of damage sometimes, but... Your roll thing. Why are you not doing your roll thing? Are you gonna do it now? Yeah. Ooh, that does a lot of damage as well. But yeah, I feel like you might as well just do the level 2 one, I guess. 
I guess it has better AoE. Like, for single target, it's probably better to just do the level 2 one, followed up by the uh, Blizzard Hawk one. But yeah, I guess it's, like, good for a lot of enemies. I should try it in, like, a... What do you call it? Group scenario? Alright, there we go. Done with that. That's the wrong way. I certainly feel very slow. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna be the first one here, but... We'll see. We'll have this whole massive thing. We start here. We need this here. But that'll just die at that point. And this will have gone over here. And then we need to switch over to Shock and get this over here. And then over there. And then finally over here. Okay. Alright. Should be okay. No! God damn you! Aw, oh, man! Oh, damn it. No, that's wrong. Is it really just this, and then we're done? I don't know. Makes me feel like I really should have just kept going, but I wasn't too sure if it was like the second entire half of the dungeon. Didn't feel like it. Yeah, big whale. Ow. Yeah, that's really good for this as well, like stunning this whale really quick. Oh, come on. That doesn't really do anything after that point. Stop. What the hell is going on? What is this attack? Just have to wait it out, I guess.
Oh no, that's not gonna work. Oh, it did, okay. Oh really, we just go again? No? I thought he would drop down. Also out of curiosity. Yeah. Son of the East, I see. You just can't hit at all during this, right? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, can you stop? That attack is very annoying. Like, it's just, it's just delay for no reason. It's son of a beach all over again. It's like, just delaying the fight. There's no, like, finesse to it. There's no nothing. It's just, just wait until he's done. And those types of fights are always very boring. Or, like, attacks. Wait, I want to start over here, actually. Is that enough? Yeah. Don't even need to do much. Almost killed him. Oh, I did. Good. So, like, is that it? I mean, that was under 30 minutes today, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll count. There we go. Yep. Well, really should have done that, that yesterday, I guess, but... If I did it yesterday, it probably wouldn't have worked out. I would have been too slow and had to do it again or something. So, yeah. I mean, it's true for me, too. And yeah, there you go, 100% done with crosscode. Maybe one day we'll do like a full on get 100% of everything in one save file and a playthrough, which could just be like continuing with this one, or it could be like the Sergei hacks thing. I mean, I do think like if I actually wanted to do that and just replay the game and do stuff like that. I would probably do it on uh, New Game Plus, but I'm thinking I would not have on the, like, witch time thing. Because, yeah, like, that's both annoying and a little too overpowered. Like, it just kind of ruins a lot of the pacing and stuff of the fights, I feel. It was, like, interesting to play around with, but... Yeah, I would probably want to remove that, but still keep the, like, get on my level and, like, scaling enemies and things like that. And then obviously not like four times XP because you obviously don't need that for a second playthrough. I, because of get on my level, I guess you just get a lot, of, lot more XP, and I didn't realize that. So getting to 99 is not very difficult. Because yeah, like I've said before, I thought like all enemies would just give one XP, so you would have to kill like a thousand enemies to get get one level, and then having XP times four would just mean 250 enemies, which would be a lot simpler.
All right. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's everything for CrossCode. Kind of an awkward, like, less than half hour segment of it, but that's really all I wanted to do for now. I don't think there's anything else I want to do with, like, Sergei Hex or whatever, because, yeah, that would take a lot more time, and then you have to actually read through the dialogue again. So that would probably be something I would do, like, later on, revisiting this game at some point, maybe doing a Sergei Hex thing to, like, warm up and just read the story, and then you could do, like, a New Game Plus, like, not really challenge run, but just, like, get on my level and just have a decent experience for the sake of, like, having a... What's it called? Uh, like, 100% save file. Something like that. Yeah, and that's that. Don't care about the stars. So... Here's where we leave it off for CrossCode. About eight extra hours to do this New Game Plus thing. Plus, what is it? I hope I didn't, like, accidentally delete my final save. Because I was deleting a couple saves and wasn't looking. I'm not sure if I deleted, like, the non-New Game Plus save that is, like, my final one. I still have it backed up, it's fine, but just, like, it would be nice to just have it here for the future. And I don't remember if it was that. I guess I would have to check. But yeah. Cross code done. I'll probably play this again someday, but I'm sure it'll be a long while before then. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I do like the game overall. I certainly have my gripes with it and some of the like pacing issues and weird like... Again, I'm not saying things are literally unavoidable, but just, like, realistically unavoidable for someone that doesn't know every single trick of the game. There's a lot of stuff in this game that feels kind of, like, cheap. It feels cheap, not that it is cheap, if that makes sense. So, some parts feel a little frustrating, some parts feel a little tedious, but the vast majority of it is very, very nice. And certainly, like, no complaints about the story or visuals or music, and just like the combat in general feels incredibly good, like just moving around and jumping and shooting and stuff feels great. So it's definitely a game I could just like come back to just for the sake of playing it, because it's just like satisfying to play. But it is a little bit of a slog to like spam through a bunch of dialogue and skip through everything when you when you've already read it. But yeah, have a good one now. I will, uh, I guess not take a break, I'll just swap over and do some Enter the Gungeon.